All right, we're going to take you ice fishing here on the morning news. Jason Mattity joining us now with all we need to know for this ice fishing season. First, we're going to start with the gear, the essential gear one needs to go. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, the beauty, if you will, of what is normally a very cold province is we've got lots of ice fishing mm -hmm. in front of us. Months, in fact, right? So you have to start with the right clothing. And right here, we've got a really nice jacket and bibs, you know, it's it's heavy, it's layered, that just protects you from those elements. It's the most important thing mm -hmm. right off the hop. The Staying second, warm. absolutely, the second most important thing is this ice auger I have here. It's a hand crank when the ice is thinner like it is at this time of year and good enough for walking on, that's fine to punch your holes. It's, mm -hmm. it, and think small diameter because you can get through quicker. I like to turn the lake into Swiss cheese. I put a motor on the end. That's a lot more expensive. So basically between that and this, which is about 60 bucks to get one of those, you can make the hole in the ice. And finally, the final piece that is critical is the type of rod you select. What are the different types of rods? Obviously, ice fishing rods are much shorter than uh, normal rod and reels, but what are the different types of ice fishing rods? There's a lot of selection out there. Yeah, well, and absolutely. And the reason they're shorter is because you're vertical jigging. You're going up and down. Right. You're not needing casting. And, and in the summertime, those longer rods are as much about the casting right. and getting distance as, as, as they are about anything else. So um, just wanted to start like with uh, this one. You select your rods and the action of the rod based on what you're fishing for and the weight of the lure you're using. Okay. Um, so this is what is considered a lighter rod, and you can look on the spine, it often tells you the action of the rod. I like going with four to six pound test, two to six pound line test, and that's the weight and diameter of the line, meaning that's the weight I can pick up vertically on the line. Okay. Um, and you go with lighter line because lighter lures, you can feel them better. And a lot of times people uh, fish for perch and walleye, which are mm -hmm. sort of the more popular ones. You want to tend to go with lighter lures because they tend to be 25, 30 feet deeper. And this one's a fairly short rod. This rod, I'll just hand you this one sure. if I could. This rod here, you can see it's a little bit longer. It's often the same kind of action, same line yep. weight. I'll use this one outside, a little bit longer rod, because I've got more space mm -hmm. that I can do a very good hook set, uh, pick up a lot of line quickly, uh, you know, and make sure to keep the rod loaded, mm -hmm. if you will, when you get a hit. That one is more of a shack rod, where okay. you don't have a lot of room. And so, uh, again, similar actions, uh, right. it's lighter line, but just a little more compact so you can be inside. Uh, this time of the year, uh, the ice is still a little bit thin. When does really the season really pick up? Well, the season really picks up when uh, the ice hits uh, about 30 centimeters, 40 centimeters, and people begin the process of driving on the ice. Now, uh, scientifically, that's the uh, right. thickness you need uniformly to be able to take the weight of a vehicle out. Uh, I always recommend caution, particularly with the warm weather that we're mm -hmm. getting this year. I highly recommend people walk and really pay attention to the ice conditions. And, and as you're walking out, if you're not sure, drill and check. The, the, the thickness right. of the ice all the way along. And, and I really, really recommend that, especially when we have mild weather. Like Do you have any good tips for beginners, for pros, for anybody wanting to go ice fishing this year? Well, you know, as I say, once you get the three things nailed down, you know, uh, when you decide I'm going to fish for, uh, for perch or walleye mm -hmm. or for pike, if I want to fish for something bigger, get a little bit heavier rod, uh, you know, that can handle heavier lures, you know, heavier fish and, and heavier weight of line. Just cover water, f pick those spots where you did well in the summertime and sort of start from there and just literally drill in or out from the shoreline from there. Talk to other anglers, go to your favorite tackle store, ask them where the fish are biting and that's a really good place to start. There you have it. You heard it here first from the expert, Jason Maddy. Thanks for coming in. Lots of more information on your website, maddysgetfishing.com. Lots of great info and some great videos on there as well. Thanks for coming in. I guess I'm hooked now. Awesome. Ice fishing. Thank you for having me. Well, after years of late night television, we now know when David Letterman's last show will air. Find out when it is next. But first, here's a look outside with our city camp brought to you by Sask Telmax TV. Still a little dark out there.